How did you deal with a guy not having it together after two years? Damn. Hey, did they just come for you? Hey, that frame, cause you is my name. What up, beauty gang? African Beauty here, and today I'm bringing you guys a very exciting video I've been wanting to do for a while now. Answering you guys' quick fire assumptions that I asked you guys to submit a long time ago on my Instagram story. I'm finally doing the video. I have my man over there who's gonna be asking the questions as my like little interviewer. Say hello, babe. Yo. <laughs> I got inspired to do this video by this YouTuber. I don't know how to say her last name, but her first name is Jordan. This is what she looks like. She did this video a couple times on her channel. I was like, that would be a dope way for my beauty game to get to know me. Especially because the last time I feel like I ever did a video that's get to know me energy was like when I first started my channel four years ago. And beauty game has grown substantially since then. So I'm very excited to do this video. I'm going to be doing 10 minutes straight answering the fire assumption questions that you guys submitted. Josh will be reading them off to me. And I guess the point of the video is for nothing to cut not to chop or anything like that the burger on me that's a little different okay I'm used to chopping and cutting and whenever it don't work take it out for a blah but this is supposed to be straight 10 minutes so y'all will really be getting to see the authentic organic 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 easy I have the 10 minute timer right here but before we hop into this video if you knew the beauty gang you never heard of us sis, sis. we don't know you've been at but we are so glad you found us the beauty gang is hella stupid lit over here if you don't believe me go and check the comment section below and you will see multiple Beauty Game members vouch for the fact that you're hella stupid lit. So after you've done that, go hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video without further ado. Let's hop into these assumptions. Oh lord, I'm kind of nervous. I didn't read nothing. I have no idea what they said. Uh huh. Some of these are assumptions and some of them are questions. Are you okay with both? Yes. Okay. Okay. You ready, babe? Uh, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh lord, why am I nervous? Cause I feel like you're gonna be picking some wild ones, low key. I'm, I'm just like, I'm literally going through all of them. All right, ten minutes, starting now. You are a boss ass woman. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, that's a fact. I would say I've been in my own boss for the last. But when did we graduate? Almost three years ago. Even before we graduated, you were bossing it up. So yeah. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Did you ever want to give up on your hair at one point? By the way, I love you so much. Oh. Ah. Give up. That, that's hard because, like, I didn't want to ever chop it off. But I'm not going to lie. There was a maybe before the last time that I got real tired of my hair, I thought about, like, do I want to just go back to flat ironing it? I never had a perma relax before, but I used to be, like, flat iron crazy in high school. That's how I got all that heat damage. And I thought about, like, dang. Sometimes I'll be nice. But give up, no. I want to say give up. Okay. Um, you sometimes feel insecure about your stretch marks. No, actually. Not my stretch marks. I, I don't really have that many stretch marks either. And low-key, people think that the stretch marks on my thighs are... Um, are stretch marks but they're really not. I worked out one day, did some bridges in LA Fitness with some dumbbells that was too heavy and it bruised me. They look like stretch marks. But I no, like I'm not embarrassed of those. Like and them. you like them, don't Uh-huh, I know, I know. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Uh-huh. You're the planner in your friendship group. Yeah. You already know that answer. I absolutely am. But we're working on that with my friends. People are going to start chipping in, which I, I like. I with that Virgo energy. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did you deal with a guy not having it together after two years? Damn. Dang! Did they just come for you? <laughs> oh my god! Don't come for my man! You know what? Uh, to be honest, it was because I'm sure it's weird because I'm like feel like I'm having a conversation with you, but I'm having it with them. But I think the biggest thing was that. I always saw potential in Josh, but I want to be careful with that word potential because sometimes I feel like people put too much emphasis on potential uh, for people and those people might not ever reach it. Whereas I, you had potential action form. It wasn't just my thought process of like, oh, one day you're going to be successful or blah, blah, blah. I, I saw you be successful in other avenues of your life, how you carried yourself and stuff. Um, I also knew, he, it's just so much I can say. I, my love for you. Because I'm bomb. My love <laughs> for you is really what it is. And I don't think, because what was the question one more time? How do you deal with a guy not having it together after two years? 
also I kind of saw it coming because remember I was like, hey, are you looking for jobs? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I think just everybody isn't perfect, but in that time period, I also knew vice versa. If the situation was flipped, you would have did the same thing for me. We just had that type of love and relationship and friendship for each other, so yeah. That's a quick answer. I could have went on and on with that. Mm -hmm. um, you feel as though your hair is a part of your character, like an extension of yourself. Yes and no. I feel like dang near every black girl feels that way though. Because we can be so versatile with our hair. I, I, I do feel like I express myself through my hair a lot though. So I guess yeah. I never thought of it that way though. Mm. Uh, you don't believe in letting the man pay. Oh that's not true. <laughs> Um, honey, don't do, don't do that. We're pretty equal in this joint. But, like, no, uh, I definitely appreciate when Josh pays for show. Um, I assume you're a very supportive and involved friend to have. I am. But what I've learned is sometimes it might be a little... I didn't know there was such thing as maybe, like, too much support or too being too hands-on. But... I, I, I'm, I'm that for sure. I think most people would define that as clingy, but I wouldn't put you in the clingy. Yeah, I'm not clingy though. Yeah. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, it's supposed to be quick fire. I know, I'm you, you sorry, gotta, you gotta like, be going. You're, you're going crazy. And I'm, okay, where do you usually shop for your clothes? Pretty Little Things is probably the top place. Yeah, but I, I kind of want to transition out of that. Um, do you want to transition to a big chop or do a big chop? No. I have been there, done that. I, my length is where I want it. To, well, no, I wanted to grow a little bit longer, but I'm happy with my natural hair. Um, I thought you were too American to be Nigerian. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, well, but I am American. Like, a lot of, I am part Nigerian. My dad was from there, but I guess a lot of people get confused. I'm not from there. I was born here like my mom was. So, yeah, that's probably why there was a mix up there, a misunderstanding. I never claimed to be like solid from there, know the culture and language Nigerian. I'm just, I just represent that part of myself because my dad is part of me. What is your degree in? And does it help you grow your YouTube? My degree was in hospitality and tourism and I minored in leadership. Did it help me grow my YouTube? I kind of don't think so. I would say college helped you grow it because it was a kind of a different perspective. Mm, but not my degree. I don't think I would say my degree in particular. I would only tie the degree to like the one time I threw the meet and greet for you guys um, being because I wanted to go into event planning with my degree and wedding planning and stuff so maybe like being a really good planner and organizing yeah but I've always been like that so I don't feel like I should credit the degree for that <laughs> um, you used to be hella insecure but now you're confident AF like you grew into the ECUR now that's a yes or no answer to that because I wouldn't say I was hella insecure in the sense where like I just thought I was booty ugly blah 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 but um, I definitely have grown to a way confident EC more in, yeah, more confident EC than I was in high school or even the beginning of college for sure. You wear the pants in the relationship. <laughs> don't you don't dare. I don't think so. Oh, okay. My man wears the pants. I control the zipper. That's what you said no, we fine, were. Fine. <laughs> You're the one that said that. Why are you looking at me crazy? <laughs> uh, before you two, what were your life and career aspirations? Oh, I already kind of touched on it. I wanted to be a wedding planner slash event planner. That's about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, they assume you probably give more than you take. Hmm. Yeah. Would you say so? Don't include our relationship. Because <laughs> I already see you thinking like, mm. No, I would say a majority of my relationships with people, I, I give even a lot. Even in this one, you give a lot. So I wouldn't even like discredit you that hard on this. Okay. I just think I give a tad bit more. What? In this relationship? We're not even going to do this. Oh, God. Quick fire. Ooh, we'll we have two Moving minutes, on. 30 Moving seconds left. Okay. You don't like animals. I don't like animals? That's the assumption. You don't like animals. I, I, I'm scared of animals, but I wouldn't say I don't like them. I wouldn't go as far as to say I don't like All them. All right, whatever. <laughs> you have at least six digits in your bank account. 
Yes. Sheesh. <laughs> I need the styling tips from you, sis. It's not a question. Okay, you're right. You prefer to be a lone wolf. No, 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 actually. I enjoy my me time, but I enjoy pe like ex exchanging or being around other people's energies that I love. Um, One minute, 50 seconds. Right. Uh, where would you be if you weren't dating Josh? Woo. Ooh, I can't answer that. I would just be more of a, uh, I don't know. I think I'm exactly where I should be, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Dang, that's a, that stumped me. Gotcha. Uh, I assume that you work way harder than it seems. Yeah, I would say so. Because people don't see a lot of behind the scenes work that go into the influencing stuff. But because I started doing the day in the life of an influencer vlogs here on my channel, it's kind of giving you guys more of a, a sneak peek into my life and the background stuff. But even, there's even more stuff that I haven't shared with you guys that I've been working on that I be going hard in that y'all don't know about. <laughs> uh, you and Josh have a lot of petty arguments. We used to. We have evolved, honey. Man. Man. Yeah, but we used to a lot. Um, you have a huge closet. Probably walk in because of all the clothes you buy. I don't have a huge closet. But my sh stuff could fill a walk-in easily. That is the goal. <laughs> um, you lost your V-card to Josh. That's not true. I had a, a girl talk video, by the way, on my channel of that experience. It was awful. Check out that video after this. <laughs> um, someone assumes that you low-key like me being annoying. No, I don't. Oh. It, I don't at all. Dang. <laughs> um. Ten seconds. What made you do YouTube? Insecurity. I wanted to. I wanted to be a big, a better person. Oh Lord, I don't have. To. Oh, the time is over. I can, I can finish answering that though. Um, what made me really start YouTube was just I was in a very kind of like low insecure place at the time and I just felt like, especially because I was an athlete, I don't want to tie the athletics to it, but just like athletes, we don't have as much time to get all glammed up and cute all the time and stuff. Majority of the time our clothes are just chill, sweats, yada yada yada. Um, so. I felt like I can't be the only girl that kind of deals with this issue of feeling like I'm less than or not good enough because I don't know how to beat my face or um, be glammed up all the time. So that's kind of why I started it. More so for like to help me gain confidence and grow my, grow myself. But it just became this huge community that I love. So, yeah. There was hella more. There was hella more? Hella. Man, why wasn't you as quick fire, man? Because I was trying to get through all the ones like some people were asking like very long questions and I was like you can't really answer those right what do you guys think did you guys like this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below part two if you want me to do another one since Josh says there was hella more I feel like they can be a little bit more juicy too as I'm going up I'm there's more juicy. more juicy but you didn't really give me time to look over these questions y'all do y'all want another one that's a little bit more juicy mm. give me one juicy one and we'll close out I'm gonna close out the video you're a real friend and don't hang out with fake people and you don't take people's BS that's juicy. Well, That's a given. You're known to be a bit bougie. Do you think I am? Sometimes. I, I, I can have a bougie bourgeois energy about that, myself. That's it. But like that's... That's right it. Right that's there. it. Wait, what do you mean? That's the end. That's the bougie. What, saying that? Bougie bourgeois. <laughs> that's right there. Yeah. That's about it though. Well, Alright, either way, if you guys want a part two, hashtag part two in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, my love. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna oh, show I'm your face? Rough. Can we just keep me out of this one? Oh, okay, you just wanna be, okay, no face, no case. Mr. Man. Oh, okay. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually really fun. I do actually look, you hope that you guys want me to do a part two. Of course I do. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you are following me on Instagram so that when that time comes for part two, you can add your little assumptions in there so it can be read hopefully next time. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. Beauty Gang is clearly lit. And until next time, guys, bye. Oh, I forgot my kiss. Until next time, guys, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I forgot the kiss. Move your body cause you're loving the way you want Move your body if you're loving the way that you talk One time if you're confident Clap two times cause you're on me 
Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on a day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause you